Today, I want to talk about Vibrant Aquarium Cleaner, a biological method for cleaning your aquarium. It states that it removes algae and clears water. One thing I can confirm is that it removes algae. I can't really tell that it clears water because I didn't really have that problem yet, but it would make sense if there's a bacterial bloom that this product can help with that. Basically, this stuff is a secret blend of heterotrophic bacteria, which are bacteria that eat other organisms and don't synthesize their food from light. It also needs to be dosed regularly as this specific bacteria can't reproduce in aquaria. I don't really know the extent of that truth, but I'll choose to believe them because this works so well. One word of caution is to use this on tanks that are established, I'd say about six months or so, or if you have a relatively new tank with like really high nutrient issues. I didn't really listen to this advice in one of my tanks, and I used it on my Fluval Evo 13.5 gallon, and it was only like two to three months old, and I ended up with dinoflagellates shortly after. And yeah, it was not fun. There's a lot of conflicting information about the cause of dinoflagellates. The consensus for a long time was that there's too low nutrient levels and it allows dinos to dominate the tank. But some people are arguing now that nutrient levels shouldn't be to blame for dinos overtaking the tank. I'm not really smart enough to give any input, so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Well, I mean, if I had to guess what happened is that probably early on in the Evo, there's probably like a war in the microbiome to see which species would dominate the tank. And when I added the vibrant, which helped kill off like algae and other bacteria, the dinos were able to use that to their advantage and start rapidly reproducing and thus like taking over the tank. I feel like once you have a tank that's established enough, there's like a sufficient like microorganism population that would still exist after the vibrant would kill off algae and bacteria, which prevents like bacteria like cyano or dinoflagellates to become the dominant species. So basically, if you have a new tank and don't have any problems at the moment, don't use it. If and when algae starts to get uncontrollable, it would be safe to use it, but make sure you ease into it and gradually increase the dosage. For example, if you need to dose twice a week, start with dosing once a week, and after a month, you can continue to twice a week. You can also start once your tank gets old enough. Moral of the story, don't fix what ain't broke. Just a quick disclaimer, this is my experience with the product. You might have a completely different experience that contradicts my conclusions. Um, this stuff is not really understood well yet, and you know, there's still a lot of different variables that can come to play when uh, this product is being used in various tanks. Other than that, this is a very effective product and it's much better to underdose rather than overdose this. Um, it was able to clear a lot of film algae and I have like read reports of it cleaning bubble algae. I don't really have to clean the walls of my tank as much anymore, which is a huge plus. Like I used to have to clean the walls like almost like every other day. And now it's like, once a week and you know that in and of itself is like amazing so in the end this is a godly aquarium product but you can't really use it willy-nilly so make sure to use this carefully and you'll see great results i'll see you all in a bit